Mm. Hello and welcome all you royalties of fate. You have once again found yourself in the only self-proclaimed Twitch TTRPG stream that lets you, the viewer, significantly impact the flow of the story on your screens for free. In order to do these changes, you must use the redeem command in chat and spend fate chips. Fate chips are our loyalty points that you earn just by watching, following, posting, subscribing, or engaging with us in chat. Use your fate chips to alter skill rolls, heal, heal your favorite players, or make our players sing, say interesting, or say interesting things. You can even change the script by introducing a custom item or create a random encounter. Tonight, we're playing the game, a new game called The Tales of the Solar Patrol. It is a story about the making of a 1930s pulp retro sci-fi show. Now, keep in mind, during the broadcast, there will be two letters of a secret patrol message that will pop up. Take these letters to the Discord chat and use the decoder. All right, so tonight, um, Whiskers is normally the uh, GM for this story, and uh, I'm going to, my name is Simon, and I'm going to be taking his place uh, uh, even though it says whiskers right now, uh, we're we're just sorting some things out because I was a little bit of a last minute. No, you have whiskers. I have whiskers. Well, but I haven't had whiskers, if you know what I mean. What? Okay, Ouch. we're going. We're we're going to let that one drop. <laughs> um, last week, uh, tonight's episode is uh, the Caves of the Moon Part Six, Radio Gaga. Um, last week, you'll remember there was an accident on set and a, an extra was taken to the nurse. Bonsoir found a tooth while eating some craft services cereal. Russell went to Wesker's to ask about his paycheck. Percival went to take a nap and Neville is in the car. So I will welcome everyone, uh, to this. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna start a little less meta than we normally do. And I'm going to ask everyone, um, where did we want to start the, uh, the show? Cause we're not necessarily, uh, in a, <laughs> we're not in our, and then we won't have we're, we're not, we're not on set at this point. Everyone is sort of scattered because we've broken for the day. Uh, whose story do we want to follow up on first? Um, we have someone who's just, who's just gotten their paycheck. Uh, we've got, uh, Percival is in, um, in, in his, he's going to his dressing room for a nap and I believe Wellington has, uh, uh, visited a car. Oh, and, uh, just, to kind of follow up on, uh, that, uh, didn't, um, no, I mean, oh, oh gosh, what's the, uh, the weasel's name? Um, Mr. McGuffin, <laughs> Mr. McGuffin, didn't he it end was, up in so. Percival's room? Yes, uh, it's going to be a very interesting scene. Poor choices uh, in uh, in going through the vents. He he did he, he got a little explorey. It buzzed, so <laughs> and that's what happened. Yeah, V just saying start with the nap. Oh, Starting oh, Vige, nap. I really okay. wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, I'm so... tired for tomorrow already. Mm -hmm. This is great. You're already yeah. worn out. You're are you pre worn out? Pre I am pre burnt. Pre burnt. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, uh, Percival's dressing room. Uh, does anyone want, I, I know, would you be willing to, uh, let, uh, someone else run, uh, run, hit, run, uh, Mr. McGuffin <gasps> for you? And then we'll oh, have... no. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Or, or would, or do you really want to try and, uh, and do a left a shift? Left oh, shift I, 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 you find your See, no, that, I, mean, I, think I was gonna say no, but the look on Poon Donkey's face. I I really want to <laughs> see. I really want to see buzzed, Good Devil so. go back and forth. I I, I did call me crazy, but I just. <laughs> oh, I I think I think it you're buzzed, not crazy. So. I think that he deserves it. <laughs> uh, I don't want you to be in any discomfort. I will do it. Oh no, I don't know. I don't want you to. I, I really like uh Oh sorry. Uh it's a ferret, not a weasel. 
No, it was it was described as a weasel. Type of polecat was my nickname in high Space school. Weasel. Uh, Do, what, who's who's <laughs> deciding it's a ferret? Uh, I'm gonna take it from the environmental scientist. Well, oh yeah, but no, well in um, <laughs> yeah, but I mean. Uh, you know, I'm also have. not necessarily a cat, but we just make do. Um, we'll make do. Uh, so, um, all right. And then we won't have so, here. Percival, um, find you, do, no, I mean... you do uh, come in. I do not know how you necessarily enter the void, but you are walking <laughs> through the hallway. It buzzed. And, so. uh, let me see if there's anything that's of interest in the hallway. Um, there's some blood streaks. On the floor. I don't know if you care about those. <laughs> um, buzzed, I, uh, so. so, walking along to my dressing room, um, uh, you know, even though I have, you know, I'm walking with my head uh, uh, hung, looking at the ground. I even so much as see the uh, the blood, have... but still doesn't quite register uh, in the old okay. brain box. Um, okay. And I managed to, you know, just kind of <laughs> oh. Sh- uh, and just continue moving on uh, nonchalantly. Okay. Um, can I ask? I I forget. Did you didn't generate um, a person? A, a, char- a character sheet she, for first? Uh, have... No. Okay. Why don't you use the chill and roll uh, at at um, an extras and level to see how your, how well you handle? Your, find your no. I mean, handle it. Uh, extra being eight. Uh, <laughs> ten. It ten. buzzed. So. Uh, 10, 11, and a 5 on the situation dice. Okay. <laughs> um, yep, so that you, so buzzed, you handle so. it quite well. Uh, you just, you know, it doesn't impact, it doesn't phase you uh, unduly. <laughs> you just keep on moving. All right, so you, you somehow don't even remember opening the door, and you find yourself inside of a, a white void, out. and uh, I do not know what uh, state uh, uh, Mr. McGuffin is in. Yes. Uh, my quiet. Oh, excuse me. Let me. Percival voice. Oh, so so quiet in here. Uh, and all my. Oh. Mr. McGuffin. Mr. McGuffin, is that you? What have... <laughs> and it's just this. And then we won't even have though, if we there were no, a I mean... camera, you know, uh, behind one of us. It would appear that we're close to each other, but uh, it buzzed. So. Mr. McGuffin's uh, chitters and uh, and squeaks sound like they're they're so very far away. It buzzed. Like just oh, just, okay. just barely within earshot, if you will. Hmm. So it's uh yeah, this is this is the thing. I think Mr. McGuffin is having trouble focusing on you as well. It, and then we won't have Mr. McGuffin, uh, how did you find yourself into my my dressing room? Uh, my 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 sanctum, if anything. <laughs> oh. Well, that seems stupid. We you could have just knocked. <laughs> That makes perfect sense. And, then we and I've never here. quite heard it put no, that way. Do- no, I mean, you make valid points. Hey, uh, uh, <laughs> by the by, <laughs> it buzzed. So, <clears throat> um, you didn't happen to. Uh, well, there, there's a, a little <laughs> bit of uh, a it mess buzzed, just so. outside my door. Uh, you haven't been indulging in old habits, have you? <laughs> oh, 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 you, so you came in here looking for a have... shower. That seemed, hmm. well, if I had a shower to offer you, I sure would. <laughs> you want me to do what? <laughs> And then we won't have. I'm fairly certain that in this timeline, uh, yeah, human resources no, I mean... doesn't exist yet. And seeing as how you're a ferret, <laughs> yeah, a weasel, sorry. <laughs> um, it buzzed, so. 
I'm pretty sure human resources wouldn't quite apply to you. Uh, but I feel a little <laughs> uneased it buzzed, by that so. request. <laughs> hmm. Well, since you put it that way, well, I suppose I shall return. And uh, Percival's gonna exit uh, exit his sanctum dressing room uh, void. Sure, yes. You come out of your white void. Um, and we're gonna go find a bucket. <laughs> Don't okay. worry about why. Don't worry about why. Don't worry okay. about why. We're gonna go get a bucket. Okay. Uh, you're gonna go get a bucket. I'm gonna put you out here. Totally not, totally not where we need to be. Uh, uh, we'll do that with Percival. <laughs> okay. Uh, who did we want to switch to next? While you go in search of a bucket. And uh, uh, just, I'm so sorry. Uh, real quick, as I'm, uh, yes. you know, closing the door. And, and, uh, and I'll be sure to get the bubbles. Yes. <laughs> Close the door. So you're leaving him uh, in the void, correct? There are not even any corners for him to cower in, which is funny. Oh, uh, uh, well, I mean, if uh, I mean, I, I thought I figured you'd understand, but um, it seems uh, Mr. McGuffin finds the the void uh, soothing. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to double check. <laughs> it makes the voices stop. <laughs> uh Let's see. Speaking of which, uh, yeah, we got we got some. Uh, Holy sh- what? I uh, I was just uh, flopping around with uh, with uh, the dice in my hand, just uh, rolled them into my bin, uh, and I got triple one. So thank God that wasn't uh, enough. Yeah, get that out of your system. Get that out of your system now. Um, so who wants to uh, pick up the next pick up the next thing? Well, you're we're we're here. Might as well. <laughs> I don't know what who we're here uh, might as well okay. means. Well, I mean that's the that's the door the door that that that. Uh, oh, yeah. You're actually. Uh, let's have you and Bunswa just uh, uh, come out. Yeah, you find yourselves outside the door in the hallway. Oh, <sighs> Percival is looking for a bucket. Russell Bunswa, fancy seeing seeing you here. Um. You wouldn't happen to know where the uh, the maintenance closet is around here, would you? Oh no, I can't say that I I, I do. I I remember being angry, but I can't quite no. I mean, figure out what I was angry about. Oh, I have been tasked with finding uh, a bucket full of warm water. And a, a method of making bubbles. So, um, I'll see you gentlemen mm. on set. Mm, all right. Uh, have fun with uh, your so. tiny bubble bath. Okay. Oh, uh, as a minor, as a minor thing, uh, we are we are kind of wrapped for the we 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 technically wrapped for the day. Um. So we're good. We're actually pretty good for that. Um. I I did make that. Uh, Whiskers didn't make that clear when uh, Whiskers is a terrible GM. We all agree. We can talk about him behind his back now. Uh, Whiskers is, uh, and also, um, do you go, first of all, do you go deeper into the thing or back toward the set to see if there is, or you go deeper into the studio? Well, there's some uh, some bonus duels around here. Uh, that room, uh, 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 Russell, that, that room you just came out of, I don't suppose you saw a bucket. Done, I... Mean... Well, I... Don't remember. It buzzed. So. That's odd. Hmm. Well, the bucket is quite uh, the uh, the standout item, so I'll just trust that if you saw it, you would have seen it and would have it told buzzed, me. So. Um, yes. I'm just, just going to start pushing on all the other doors and just poking my head in. Okay. Um, there's one uh, that says accounting. And uh, you, it... it uh, drifts open. Give me a second to bring up the set. That. Uh, this kind of a room. And let me get the accountant.
Oof. Yeah, Oof. yeah he looks like an accountant. Um, yep. He also is the set guy. And, so you recognize uh, you him know, from that. Uh, Moonlights is a mortuary. Yes. No, I mean, pretty sure that's what. Uh, but you, you stick your head in, and, and he just looks up at you with just kind of these these eyes. Uh, you know, just that those eyes, and uh, doesn't necessarily he doesn't say anything, but in in your mind, you do definitely get the impression of, uh, can I help you? Is in your head. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, you being the uh, the staff accountant, would you happen to know if we procured a uh, a bucket uh, at anywhere on set or on campus? I suppose would be uh, the correct way. On the lot. On the lot. Thank you. Uh, uh he he, um. He actually moves his hands in kind of an odd way. Uh, it, it looks like some sort of sign language. Yeah. Uh, and surprisingly, you you absolutely understand this gestic, gesture language. Um, and uh, it, it basically indicates that there's a bucket behind the uh, the set in the uh, behind the uh, the standing alien set. Oh. Oh, thank you, my good sir. Um, and since I uh, currently hold your attention, um, I, uh, I, I, I had but a brief question. It seems, um, well, regardless of the number of scenes or hours I work, um, couldn't help but to notice that uh, each one of my Paychecks ends with an odd tax bracket of thirteen cents. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything as to why? Or you know how his skin is already sallow and very pale. It somehow becomes even paler and more more gaunt, uh, as if he's horrified. By you asking him about that, he clearly knows what that number is, but he he is terrified of that number, of you asking about that number. So it's something that messes him up. Oh, oh, blanched. I didn't. Um, oh, here, here, let's uh, uh, take a deep breath. Uh, uh, here, uh, drink some uh, some of your water. Uh, uh, no need to to to, to fear or fuss. Um, uh, it was just a, a, a point of curiosity, if you will. Yeah, the um, the 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 water. Uh, do you, are you going to go over like to a, a counter and get him a glass of water? Uh, well, yeah, why not? Uh, we'll we'll see him. There's okay. a, a nice uh, pitcher with some ice water and glasses around yeah. it. Right? Um, it, it smells like embalming fluid. Oh. oh, my dear but, boy! Uh, you, but you it, know, is the, it is in the pitcher. You, you can't be. Uh, uh, you got to be extra careful about uh, this, uh, the city tap water. Uh, ha- have you drank any of this? Oh, no. He, well, did you offer it to him, or are you just asking him about it? Well, uh, I'm going to ask about it, but I do pour a glass, which generates the smell that wafts into Percival's nose. Um, and I'm still going to hand it over. Okay. Uh, he accepts it, and and uh, he takes it in both hands. They're shaking a little, and and he drinks it oh. to to no ill effect, no apparent ill effect. Oh. That's right. Take deep breaths. Drink your water. Take your meds, like yep. like good old space mama always used to say. Uh, and he, you notice, well, as a, uh, let me see, what are our, I don't have your character sheets up in front of me, but, um, and then we won't have oh, do we have an observation no, skill? No. What did I, what did I wind up doing with that? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Give me just a second to bring up the character sheets. I effing wrote. I do this every time. Uh, let's look at the possibility <laughs> of... Sneaking. Uh, you need like a uh, a ten. 
or less. And then we won't have. Uh, nope. Uh, t- ten or more, I should say. Ten or more. Six, seven. You got a seven? Mm-hmm. Do you want to spend any moxie to re-roll uh, any of that? Yeah, I'll it? spend one moxie to re-roll this one. Yep, that's always good. There we go. That's better. Uh, okay. Eleven. Yeah, he, he seems to not breathe. Is he... Sir, are, are you quite all right? Can you blink if... Uh, yeah, we're not here. Blink once if <laughs> you <laughs> need help. Uh, blink <laughs> twice if I should fuck off. Those don't work either. Um, he just sort of he just sort of stares bleary eyed at you, and and imagine that uh, DM Dave was doing this face. You know the he was doing the zombie face for you. Um, but but um, the the man like uh, just stares at you a bit and then um, turns goes back to sit down and oh. it kind of. Picks up a pen and resumes writing on some things on his blotter. Oh, well, all right. Uh, uh, it scared me for a second there. Um, again, that was two blinks to tell me to fuck off, or one if you needed help. Then he nods slowly at you. So and I. Then he goes back to writing. I'll take that as a. I, I, I need help. Do you need the police? Do you um, need an ambulance? Uh, do you that does no, that does alarm alarm him? He he uh, gently shakes his head, slowly left, <laughs> right. It buzzed. So, uh, is a no. Uh, oh oh, I know uh, a a a cure all for whatever ailments you you're feeling. Um, I do have one more task I have to run before I come back. Um, but when I do come back, I'm gonna come back with a nice hot. A uh, fresh slice of some hot dog pizza cures all. Okay, and um, I don't know if you want to look at his blotter. Uh, um, so uh, has he has he finished the full glass of? Uh, he's, he's, he he took the he took the drink and then he's gone back to his desk and he's oh and uh, here let me uh, let, I'll pick up the picture again. Uh, let me top you top you off, my good man. Uh, and as I lean, uh, lean over to uh, top off uh, the glass of, you know, like water, <clears throat> I'll take a peek down into the uh, no, I mean the blotter. Okay, into the blotter. Um, the number thirteen <laughs> is was, written so. rather obsessively uh, upon the blotter, and and it's not just in in Arabic, <laughs> you know. It it's written in freedom numbers too, not just Arabic ones. So I thought those were freedom numbers, but okay. Um, yeah, it's it's in you know you recognize Roman numerals, you recognize surprisingly you recognize cuneiform. Um, you see some of it's an ANSI what looks too. To be Egyptian, you see ANSI. Yes, it is an ANSI. Uh, you do see the letter. I think uh, is it uh, C. Uh, repeated a lot. A little bit of wingdings just for some player. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the wingdings. But yeah, it's all, all different ways of writing 13. Uh, huh. Well, seems as how I did that stealthily. I'm not going to inform him of what I just saw. Um, and we're just going to take a few steps backwards. And exit mm-hmm. the room, and just be happy with the information that he gave me. I'm going to head towards uh, the part of the set he. Uh, it buzzed. So. Okay. Well, he told. Wait, how do I know where the bucket is? Oh, it's irrelevant. Oh yes, it's 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 quite irrelevant. And I'm going to do that, um, and uh, I think I've chewed the scenery quite long enough. Uh, if you want to take it. To okay, the- sorry about that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I just uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to like uh, rush you because I think you're you're doing fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back uh, to um, uh, to the street, and then we won't have to the mean streets. Yeah, hold on just a second. I have to. I have to work something out with somebody. I have to organize something.
<laughs> it buzzed, so. Uh, sorry, I gotta get us to the to the street again. <laughs> so you're on the street with Wellington, Wellington Kensington the third. Indeed. And uh, you're confronting a car. And then we won't have. I have to find. Why do I not have it? Okay, that's all right. Um, also, if uh, you want to go and get fresh air. Uh, Russell, because I mean the day the day's done. You could stagger out, and uh, you and, and Bonsoir could stagger out if you wished. Yeah, I think that <clears throat> that's eventually where uh, where Russell's going to be headed to get some fresh air to kind of figure out what the hell's going on. Why he can't remember like the last fifteen twenty minutes of his day. It buzzed. So. Yep. True. And uh, if you want to meet yourself, uh, so Wellington, you're you're talking in the um, you're in the you're you're talking to a, a car. It looks like. Yes, indeed. Neville, Neville, <laughs> okay. are you in there? I'm gonna tap on the the door of the car and tap on the the hood and say Neville. Hello. Never like heard I heard BB eighty eight's voice coming from this vehicle, but I don't see you anywhere. I'm the pilot. Well, in the show, yes, the show, you're the pilot, but you're outside with the show. We stopped filming. We're on break right now. I can't seem to locate you, but I hear your voice. What's happening? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit nonplussed talking to this car and, and having limited response from you, Neville. Limited? Yes. <laughs> can, you, can you tell me what you see? Do you see anything? Are you in blackness? No. I, I should put my glasses on. Indeed. Maybe that will help. Do you see light? My good man, are, are you in a trunk? Are you locked? Are you sewn into a seat? Trap door in the floor of the vehicle. The headlights to the car come on. <laughs> well, I, I go, see I'll the go. street. I'm going to go look at the, the headlights. Do they look like headlights or like eyeballs uh they're just like headlights mercifully they're just like headlights but they're on now they're on now and i didn't touch anything the inside there that would have put them on hmm. no not, not yeah you haven't touched anything other than lifting up the hood of the car uh the, the bonnet you've, yeah. you've you've messed with the bonnet and that's it i'm gonna wave my hand in front of the headlights are you looking through the headlights man can you see my hand Yes. It's a hand. God. It's big. <laughs> uh, I, I'm at a loss. I, are you the car? Um, Have you become a car? Point, I, Russell, you stumble upon a scene of a beautiful blue car and Wellington talking to a car. <sighs> My head hurts so much. I think I... Is that Wellington talking to a car? Come here, Russell, come here. Oh, yeah, what? what? Something... something... Extremely odd is happening here. I hear Neville, but sometimes he talks more like BB-88. He said he was the pilot, but the voice is coming from the car. But I can't find him. I've looked in the bonnet. And when I told him to open his eyes and look around, the headlights came on. And he claims he can see my hand through the headlights. Um, 
Russell's going to take his cigarette and he's going to put it out on his hand to see if it hurts. Does it hurt? <laughs> it, it does indeed uh, burn badly. <sighs> ah, okay, well. I mean, it's not the first time you've had a cigarette put out on your right. body. <laughs> and not, not, not by choice. Or this is 1930s Hollywood, so. Yeah, it's, 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 you've had a few run-ins with the cops. So, I'm, no, yeah. I'm not allowed back at uh, uh, in Vegas anymore either. No. Uh, well, uh, clearly uh, we are awake because that hurt. Uh, Nev- Neville, are are you are you the car? I'm the car. Uh, honestly doesn't really tell us anything. I feel like he would agree to anything we said. Yes. (laughs) I mean, he's not in the car, but his voice is coming from the car, so I'm assuming somehow he's been merged with the car, or... Have you tried changing the dial on the radio? I have not. I haven't gone inside other than looking inside. I've been more concerned with just things like the bonnet. Let me try. Oh, wait, wait. first, before you do that, Neville, do we have, do we have permission to enter you? (laughs) Yes. All right, there we go. Let's, uh, Thank you, uh, Lords and Ladies of Fate does take bodily autonomy very seriously, even though we joke around about it. Thanks, everybody. No no yellow <laughs> cards. We're good. So who's going inside a Neville? <laughs> I think Wellington said he was going to climb in. Neville? I'm going to let him. I don't, don't want to. I'm afraid. Yeah, just just try turning the the dial around. See if that has any effect. Okay, Wellington, uh, describe what you're doing if you could. All right, I'm going to go in through that. From the graphic, it looks like there's a like a door that's open or potentially open. If it's not open, I'll yes. open it. But I'll go in. Oh yeah, you open it. It opens without uh, any trouble or any. <laughs> Any hesitation. Okay. It's, it opens very smoothly too. It's very. It's a very weighty door. Wow. It's not like a very tinny one. It's just a very well constructed machine. Mm. Do you feel that, Neville? It tickles. My God! All right, I'm gonna go up to the the dashboard and look and see if there's a radio. First of all, since that may have been more rare at this time. <laughs> Uh, it does look indeed like there's a radio as well as a steering wheel and a uh, gear shift on the steering column. Nice car. I wish this was mine, actually. Thank you. I'm going to turn turn the radio on and and listen to hear if there's static or or if Neville responds when I start to turn the dial. Oh, I'm out of this. This is not this is between you and whatever gods you're worshiping for gaming. This is how this is how you get 15th Reich, just so you know. This is this. <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm turning the channel. <laughs> any any music? Neville, can you still hear me if I move this knob? Yes, it tickles. Hmm. Where does it tickle? All over. <laughs> ah. You know, I've got some junk in the trunk. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I suppose I could look in there. What type of junk is it? Oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, so turning the channel doesn't turn his voice off or anything uh, no d- despite numerous prompts and me throwing things at him off camera uh, apparently <laughs> it does not the inmates are running the asylum here 
We, yeah, the, I am. I, I see why. I see why Whiskers decided he just wanted to be an NPC now. I'm glad that I looked at my uh, my tobacco before I put it in my pipe. I'd swear I'm smoking the wrong substance at this point. <laughs> I'm going to. Um, I'm going to look in the trunk to see what kind of junk is in there. Okay, you open it up. Uh, it appears to be a rather weird black void like trunks are mm-hmm. uh but inside uh you see this uh you see uh five of these uh amulets wow so that's what that Interesting. was for. oh hey five of them are they yeah. are they identical do they appear identical uh, they appear identical. They have a mysterious glow about them. Uh, they have little little neck chains that are quite fashionable. Interesting. Um, so they'll hang hang down, you know, about uh, you know, mid neck, you know, they, they, that kind of thing, like pendants. Yeah. So there are a bunch of them. There are five of them. Hmm. Did you find find anything well, interesting? And they are. They do well. appear to be uh, just floating in the void of the trunk. Oh, if I was if I was smart, I wouldn't touch them. But Wellington is not me, so Wellington's gonna, <laughs> gonna grab one. Hmm, what is this? This is interesting. It doesn't look like junk to me, Neville. It looks quite valuable, perhaps. I'll pick one up. All right. Uh, as you grab it, you do feel a bit of a tingle. Um, uh, can you roll against your chillin' uh, chillin' score at uh, twelve or better? And I rolled exactly what I needed, a 12, 6, 5, and okay. 1, and the D8 was just a 4. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, you know all those things that you had uh, from from your two-digit year, the 18? Mm-hmm. Or 21 yeah, for you're... me. Oh, it's 21. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Or is it 22? Uh, now I have to think about my pay stub that I got. Uh, 22. Yeah, 22. You just got pay stubs today. Yep. <laughs> they did get paid today, people. Don't don't believe them when they piss and moan in chat. Um, uh, you do realize you you did get paid. Uh, you got your 22. Yep. And so I it was something 40, 45, 22, or something like that. Yes, forty five dollars and twenty two cents. Um, so everybody's now checking paychecks <laughs> against each other. Um, so you've got um, yeah. So actually, I think you feel uh like something from that year uh that happened to you. You have to you have to kind of pluck an event out. Uh, just a flash of an image. Can you just do a a a quick word picture of something. Oh my God! That Get that elephant away from me! Driven you into madness. What is it? Get that elephant away from me! So basically, you see an elephant in front of you, flash in the night, a giant foot, and then nothing else. Uh, however, it doesn't cause you to become catatonic or lose your mind. But um, and the amulet seems to uh, be warm and comfortable in your hand. And and also you, uh, you know, honestly, you're you're um, you know how like you know you're you're you have a cold, and then finally you know the your sinuses break up and you can breathe again. Yeah, psychically, that's what it feels like has happened to you. <sighs> like you can you can begin processing things more than five minutes ago. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what was that about a elephant? You. Yeah. Oh, uh, n- I, nothing, nothing. Oh. I just something popped in my head. I just realized I might need to have a sixth amulet. <laughs> there might be six. I don't know. Maybe, maybe come and share. <laughs> Are they infinity stones? Oh, uh, maybe they're all the same color. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he, do you want to come around to the trunk or anything? Uh, to sure. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm interested now. Oh, well, Wellington, that seems to be a, a circus. Well, what a, what a pretty little, uh, trinket you found inside 
Neville. Uh, that's I'm still not going to get used to that. I'm not used to it either, but these are rather pretty baubles. I, I don't know if they're valuable, but they're certainly not junk in the trunk. I wouldn't call this junk. There's, there's more? Yes. Look for yourself. Mm. So I'll wander around back there and... I'm assuming I'm seeing one less than what was in there originally. Uh, you're seeing five amulets. Five amulets. I would like to reach in and grab one, not to be outdone. Okay. Uh, you reach in, you, uh, you touch it, you, you just uh, go in, grab it, pull it out. Um, your hand wraps around the, it's, it's very cold metal and not freezing or anything. Just it's, it's what you'd expect is metal. And um, Neville, you feel like, well, you feel the sensation when someone touches that amulet when he puts his hand in the trunk. You want to say anything about that? Oh my! Oh 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 oh, oh my! Uh, I, I I quickly pull my hand back out. Was that was that uncomfortable? No, it felt great. Oh, okay. Then I'll go back in there and start rooting around. Oh. <laughs> so uh, you you do grab the uh, the amulet, and uh, it does feel still cold on your hand. It's like there, mm-hmm. it's like blue ice kind of a thing. And um, again, I'd like to have a, a bit of a chillin, uh, either chillin or uh, learning uh, roll on your part. At a, at a 12. At a 12. Okay, there's three of these, one of these. Uh, that's going to be 12 with a, with a five on my qualifier. Dot. Okay, qualifier is cool. Um, yeah, again, your, uh, your, your mind, you, you do have... Uh, I've got to look and see what your freaking thing is. Sorry. Uh, 18. 18? I believe it was 1618. Something from 1618 just floods into your mind. And it was enough to have been extremely uh, world-changing for you. No. For good or bad. Less fruit, Carmen Miranda. Less fruit, please. No more. 16, 18? Never mind. 16, I, something 18. All right. Uh, so yeah, so, something 18. So you're basically I was being 16. Bes- beset by a... Uh, yeah, you're being... Oh, God. Uh, you're being beset by a USO uh, showgirl, it sounds like. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is this is it. The fruit cup, comp- American Fruit Company. I thought she was the Chiquita Banana Lady. Yes. And it was a dude. <laughs> I'm going to say it was a dude that was the Chiquita banana dude. Um, so yeah, you you have a flash, but you it seemed to have incorporated it. Also, yeah. you are no longer fatigued. Your fog <sighs> is lifting, and you realize that was, you do get the sense that your memory has been tampered with several times very recently. You can't quite bring those memories back, but you know now that there are walls in your mind. Something strange is going on here. And no, I'm not talking about our co-star turning into a rather stylish car. Yes, it is a great car, isn't it? I, I suppose if anyone, if, if you had to become anything, this would be a great thing to be. Yeah, you know, they should really make a TV show about this, uh, Talking Car. Maybe some sort yes. of crime-solving show. We could pot- potentially quit Tales of the Solar Patrol and start in something exciting about a talking car. You're saying good that job? would never work. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about... Uh, um, Maybe if it was somebody's mother. Day Traveler. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, maybe we should keep working on the title. Fallen driver. <laughs> oh God. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a thing. 
So uh, let me see. I want to. I want to switch back. Uh, this is really quite the mystery machine. Oh. Yes, and I think Whiskers is at the heart of this. Can't quite place it, but something is afoot. Do you have any feet, Rufus? Or a wheel? Yeah. Do you have any? Yeah. Do you? <laughs> human, humana car, or what was it? Uh, teen, teen, turbo teen. No, no, Turbo Team, no. Um, I just, every every transformation makes me feel like someone should be screaming, Ah! Ah! Why? What have you done to me? Um, I think, I think something, something with these, can I, 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 can I roll to see if I can put two and two together that, this epiphany came about after touching the the amulet. Uh oh, yeah. I mean, it would be even better if you'd actually wrote up a character sheet. Yeah, I mean, you know. Oh, uh, that we could, we could, we wouldn't have to hand wave it as much. But again, this is the first time we've ever rolled dice this much in a game in a long time. <laughs> so, um, what I'm thinking of is, um, uh, if you if you do generate a character sheet, you are allowed to use the new tools in the toolbox so you can mm-hmm. add those later now that you know where this is headed you can take shameless advantage of that um but i think that uh we're talking about um you could probably talk about learning um, okay you know I, there's not really an, a necessarily an insight thing or a detective thing um but for right now it, it would be like uh learning or maybe science and depending on if you want to be you know, logical or. Got it. Well, at this point, I'm just, I'm, I'm just rolling with no advantages since I don't have a character sheet. I'm punishing myself. Well, no, just so. use your, um, use either one of your normal characters. Okay. I'll use the one that um, has. We always have Moxie. To spend. Yeah, you always have Moxie to spend. Yep. I'll use the one that has science in then. Okay. I think that counts for reason, then. You know, that counts for reason. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a 16 and a 1. Okay. Uh, and two sixes. And two sixes. two sixes. So you gain a moxie back. Um, you've got, what was the one again? Uh, one is a butt. One is butt. Okay, mm-hmm. you have to pick someone to describe what is it you wanted to do, and then you have to have one of the team, and I would really recommend Good Devil since he's been cooling his heels very con- nicely over there. Okay. And I don't think you're getting anything out of Rufus tonight. Um, <laughs> he's, he's, Are you sure that's not the loop? It looks like it's the loop again. There is a reason for that. Uh, <laughs> it might be the loop already. You might not know. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and describe. So you're trying to put what together? What insight are you trying to gain? I'm I'm trying to figure out that it's the amulet that has caused me to, to start piecing things together. Okay. So you're, you're starting to put all these things together and then, but, uh, you're, you put together that the amulets are kind of unlocking memories. Uh, but you take the idea a little bit too far and, Put on every single amulet around your neck. Absolutely. That's fantastic. I, I, I'm i going to look at Wellington and go, you know, I think these amulets might actually uh, be shedding some light in our minds as to what's going on here. I'm going to wear every single one of them that's left and I put all of them on. Okay. Oh God, <laughs> that might be too much for your mind, man. I, I do indeed think so. Uh, when you try and gather them all up and put them about your neck, uh, the amulet that you currently have begins to constrict. The 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 yeah, the the chain just cinches right up to become a choker. As you get it, the harder you pull, the chokier it gets. Well, he's about eighty years ahead of the curve. I'll I'll try to run over there and and pull his hands away. And and take the other ambulance and put them back in the truck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, in hindsight, that wasn't really a great idea, was it? No, no. If one can do what they've done for us, imagine the power of all of them together. 
oh, we should really. But why would they choke you? I, I don't understand that part of it. Oh. That's very odd. Oh, whatever we should do. I, th- I think maybe we should take these back to the set and distribute them to the rest of the cast. Maybe together we can figure out what's going on. Possibly. <laughs> should we leave one in the bonnet for, for um, Neville since he seems to be trapped in the car? Yes, ne- Neville. Would you would you care to keep uh, a trinket in your trunk? Yes, I'd keep a trinket in my trunk. And if anyone's thirsty, there's some ketchup in the glove box. This is definitely Neville. That you know, I had I had maybe a little bit of a doubt. Definitely Neville. Okay, so you're going to leave. Well, I'd use that ketchup if I had an American hot dog. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's amazing. You never found your American hot dog, did you? Yeah, you did. I I did. I got one from the... the, But then something happened Uh, that... uh, He he got numerous hot dogs. Oh, I don't remember if they disintegrated. They didn't disintegrate. Well, it's be, it's because as soon as he got the hot dogs, we cut to we cut to the uh, the 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 fifteenth Reich, the fifteenth Reich, yeah. and the, the, the Russian fifteenth Reich. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Really easy to forget everything that came before that and, and after. Yes, I think pretty much <laughs> I've forgotten all of it. I, what did you? I have the got Russo, some really the Russo Prussia fifteenth. I've got some really bad notes here from Whiskers, so I'm still going through Whiskers notes on this, so I might not be up to speed on all the things going on in this game. Um, but I'm pressing on. Here we go. Um, so uh, you guys want to go back to the to the set? Uh, we're going to leave Neville here, double, double parked, or does he? Do you, Neville, do you want to follow them into the studio? I'm sure there are doors big enough Perhaps. for you to get a car in. Perhaps oh, you sure, drive let's the go. car. Just put him in neutral and push him back to set. No, I want to see if he can. I want to. I want to see if he can drive himself. Yeah. Get his engine. Let's see if we can get his engine going. Maybe we can drive that. <laughs> yeah. Arrive in style. It would mean yes. getting inside. Tell everybody we've just given Neville a good ride. <laughs> Yippee-ki-yay. After extracting all the junk from his trunk. Somehow I think Bonsoir is going to be very sad that he missed this. I think Indeed. Bonsoir has missed a lot. You know, those, you know what they say about those French. Always kissing everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a hole. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So with that, uh, we've got, we got you guys. So you guys do get inside of... Uh, you do get inside. Uh, you climb on sure. in. Sure. Yeah. Climb on in there. Close the trunk. Climb on in. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, as far as I can uh, know, Wellington, you're still re- you're still holding the amulets, uh, not actively trying to put them on your head or on your neck. You're just holding the amulets uh, that are available. And uh, yeah, you guys both uh, head back to the all all of you uh, head back to the studio don't know why I have a tiny dog that's decided to walk on my keyboard <laughs> because and it's getting near my blood pressure medicine because of course it is okay um, so if we're, yeah, the if we're carrying those extra amulets as long as we don't try to wear them they aren't interacting like they're, we don't feel any tugs or anything or weird uh, nope you don't seem to feel anything weird because you're you're Holding them does not seem to cause any other uh, problems. Um, just give me a second to relocate everybody across the set. Run, run, uh, let's go! <laughs> uh, it would be useless to have you roll dice at this point, uh, Rufus. So we're just going to have you do this. Percival, Percival. Oh, yeah, if that's where all Percival's icons <laughs> went. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you come in through the garage door. I just, I just love that this is like just happened. Gonna, gonna shrink him down a little bit to make him fit on the set. Uh, Bonsoir is still like sort of uh, toddling around, uh, a bit lost, and uh, does not have the tooth with him. And um, 
Percival, do, are you making it back, or do you think you're already in your void? Uh, no, I think it's... By the time uh, we get here. We'll say right around this time uh, is when I finally made it uh, to set. Oh, the bucket? And uh, I have located the bucket, and that's when they, they, they pull in. Okay, you're standing there with a mop and a bucket in your hand? said anything about well, I put a, a yeah that's true uh you have a you have a you have a you have a bucket and you're looking for some soapy water i think is what uh the last thing anything was, right? that can make bubbles and those options are okay a lot of things yeah that's that's up to you so you you're looking around for stuff that makes bubbles and uh a sucking chest wound comes to mind but there's not an extra nearby and you see this blue car come into the set. There's, uh, I believe, um, Russell throws open the garage door and waves them in. And uh, here you go. Here you oh. sit. Boynton, uh, oh, Russell, uh, Wellington, uh, we're not car shopping, did we? Yes. Yes, indeed. I found this in front of the hot dog man's place. I went back to get another one of those American hot dogs that I found quite delicious. And then I heard what well, sounded like BB-88. And um, then it turned out that apparently Neville's trapped in this car or has become this car. Mm. Maxwell, that's a yeah, lefty like... bucket you've got there. Um, uh, yes, uh, th th wait, what, did, did, did the, vi did the motor vehicle just speak to me, and is that Neville's voice? Yes, it's me, I'm in the car. Oh, well, why don't you come out, and, uh, well, come, come say hello. Here I am, beep, beep. But... No, I, yeah. I never, like, come out of the car. Like, I, I'm not understanding. Was that not clear? He he is the car, we think. Good boy, what have you been smoking? N nothing yet, but, um, I hey. I Prince Albert in a can in here. It should be quite safe. Uh, yeah, no spirit gum today. <laughs> Listen. That was a religious experience that happened once, and, uh, you know, uh, what, what about that other time in your dressing room afterwards? I have no idea what you speak of. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, guys, we've got some props for the next scenes that we'll be filming. It's these cool amulets. You guys should definitely come over here and take one. Um, Sure, uh, I'll tr it's just a prop, and it's got a little chain around it. I'm sure it'll fit. I have okay. more pressing matters I have to attend to. Okay, let me know if anyone is attempting to actually. You're not. You're not taking it. You're just on your way uh, with the bubble bucket, right? Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, it'll make Russell happy. Yes, give it a try, man. I I put it on, and it seemed to clear up my thinking a little bit. I've been sort of in a stupor while filming this. I thought it was just boredom, but um, but instead I put it on, and it was like, hmm, strange. My paycheck matches an elephant stepping on me. It's what? Oh, don't say hey, none of you. Nothing is making sense. Um. All right, give me the the bloody amulets. Okay, uh, you do you do take hold of it. Um, it it really feels like like it's metal, but it feels like paper, like parchment. Like if you have a handful of of, of dry oh, leaves. Looks like the pro uh, prop department went yeah. uh, heavy handed on on the paints. This is quite uh, it's quite beautiful, really. Yep. Um, and as you uh, as you put it on or whatever, uh, I'll need a uh, check on either uh, like chillin. I forget you didn't make a character sheet. <laughs> no. so, okay, 
Uh, go against either one of your any any of your personas, uh, any of your characters. You can go uh, chilling or sneaking. Um, which is a big fat zero on both character sheets. What? And uh, well, you, uh, did you say what I was rolling against? Not that it matters. Uh, you're gonna go against it. Let's go against the ten because I really don't want you to go insane. Okay. So I initially got a seven uh, with double threes and a one on the situation dice. Um, Ooh. Well, we keep the situation dice. I'm so going to spend a moxie to re-roll the one. Uh, that's going to make it ten. All right. So you got a ten. You did succeed. Um, what's going to happen is this is going to be a butt thing, as it were. And uh from like butt things. Yeah, trunks, butts. Oh, this is good. You have to describe something that radically changed your perception or something about your past life. Um that happened in nineteen thirteen. Um and you've got to uh let me see, go ahead and uh yeah, you got to go ahead and uh uh, and then you can act some of that out. So you're going to have a revelation, but it's not, you need to pick a person to put some other um, but on that. And I don't know quite what you'll do because, you know, he's having a revelation, but. <laughs> so so uh, I'm having a revelation and uh, it's more uh, uh, memories unlocked. But. Upon uh, uh, brandishing the amulet, I, I, I remember the first time uh, my first director handed me a script. And I was quite confused by the concept. Because uh, usually it was just stand here, do a pratfall, uh, uh, big hand motions. And I was like, you want me to read words? Uh, this makes no sense. Uh, the, 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 the the moving pictures don't have sound, and uh, <clears throat> it's at that point uh, Percival recalls uh, what he used to sound like uh, before uh, you know uh, snapping. And uh, well, the the one half actually went and got uh, voice lessons because when I was reading my script, I was like, oh, to be. Well, not to me. Wait, no one's gonna want to listen to me. Oh God! So you were struck with terror at the at the crumbling of your career. And you know what? Uh, somebody, uh, uh, you seem to remember someone split you in half uh, to make that to make that wow, work. This is the second game I'll have had that happen. Uh, that's not weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, but I remember, oh, uh, after no. looking at the script in horror, I look up and it's been a face that I, it like has kind of been, you know, blurred from my memory. All I could make out were, uh, really not much of anything. It's like, uh, like, uh, mo uh like, like how modern TV will blur out, you know, uh, yeah, uh, bathroom bits. Or, 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 you know, pit. Or, or any Japanese. Yeah, art yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, uh, uh, yeah. minus the tentacles. Um, a lot of pixels. But it's uh, the, uh, now having worn the amulet, uh, I look up from the script and see a fa the familiar face of, uh, of, uh, of Whiskers. Oh, no. If only I had a musical sting for ah, that. Bah! And then everything, um, yes. I look up at whiskers and then everything is just black. Uh, no fade, no nothing. It just go. the lights go out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. All right. So we've got, we got some whiskers connections here. Um, let me think. You've got, all right. Um, yeah, you're, you're now having a, a bit of a clear, uh, clear head about things. You recognize that your mind has has been tampered with, but you're not totally sure on all the details. 
And also you're looking over, all of you are starting to look around the studio and what you, what you perceived as a very, you know, it was, it was a studio. It was, it was, you know, a busy place. It was a bit shabby, but not entirely. So, uh, now looks like it's been abandoned for decades. It, like there's moss on the walls. And so, sorry, sorry, just real quick. Uh, should you ever need it? Just give me a little, uh, a little heads up. Cause, uh, my little phone soundboard. Oh, even better. Yes. That's better than the soundboard I have. You gotta, you gotta give me. You, you gotta give me this the, the chance to like do the dramatic turn. Oh, okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are so gonna use that for the end of the, every season now. <laughs> gonna, this is gonna be. Damn it! This was supposed to be like a scary story, and now we've, we're not scary. Oh, uh, I haven't I haven't written down. It's a scary underlined three times for whiskers. Um, yeah. So you do look around, and it it, it does look like the sets are are very, uh, they they yeah they they've got there's holes in the holes in the roof. Um, things are very shabby. Um, but things but don't look not too shabby, right? Not too shabby. That not too shabby. Not that too shabby. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we had to throw that one in there because who's, who's that? I walked right. I don't into know that. Nat. I walked right into that with all four of my feet <laughs> on that one. All four of my little pauses. You can't crack the door open for me because I'll just kick it wide open and walk right through. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna, um, yeah. So so you you now see the set kind of as it is more or less. Uh, we all see this. You all are starting to see this. Where it's a, you know, the place you've been working is, is essentially a condemned building at this point. Is that black mold? Probably. I think it's African-American mold. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. And then there's music playing, <laughs> creepy music playing. Are there any extras around or anything? I mean, like. Yeah, that would. You really want to know where the extras are? Well, <laughs> like, are there people, or is it just us in this like abandoned, freakishly molded over building? Like, you know, uh, where are they? Let me. Where's Ma Six, for example? Or Zelenia, the queen of. Oh yeah, uh, Zelenia. I'm gonna get rid of Fredo Fillard. Here's the mosses. I'm gonna have you guys walk into the sets if you want to explore around a little. Uh, you can go into the set. Uh, willing? Do, do you want to wander off by yourself, Wellington, in this uh, abandoned, scary building? Um, no, I think maybe we should stick together. Does anybody want to investigate further, or do we just want to hide by this car? Neville, I hope you don't mind if we hide by you. <laughs> That's fine. I'm scared. What sounds does Neville the car make when he's scared? I'm curious. I think I'll play the radio. <laughs> I'm an American cook, and this is an American hot dog. I'm Sam, that's my name, not Herman, and I'm certainly not German. <laughs> <laughs> I feel better now. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bit of indigestion? Yes. Well, yes. Uh, last I checked, uh, cars do run on gasoline. I don't know if the amulet's actually working in the trunk. Uh, for for Neville, dude. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take his, and I'm gonna go over and try to fashion it into a hood ornament. Uh, okay. Um, do you have a fix and building skill? Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, let's give it a shot. <laughs> what skills did you have? I forgot what I haven't looked at your sheet for a while. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, neither of my guys have fix and build in. At least I don't think. Nope, nope. Apparently they don't. Nope. Just go for it. <laughs> Let the moxie flow. Oh, we'll be burning some moxie here, I think. Moxie cotton. Uh, what's the target I need to get? Because I've got uh, what's this? Thirteen. Uh, let's go with let's go with the twelve then. Perfect. There we go. I got a two so on my qualifier good. die. Two on my qualifier die. So you just you fashion it on. Uh, and um, Neville, you've got. Um, it's like your sinuses have just been cleared up and you at least can remember things. And did you want me to give you a prompt or am I just going to trust to the fates here on this one? Cause you've ignored all my prompts so far. Where are the prompts? Well, I yell at you. I put my mic on mute and I okay, yell at you. Okay, you can yell at me. Mouth moving. That's just an illusion. There, there it is. I see it. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to still do that again. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. I need to know. What does the car know? Well, it's, it's show me what the car, does the car say. Yeah. He wants the car facts now. Just the facts, man. <laughs> the car facts. Oh, oh my! Would you put that on there? It was, it was just like snorting ice cream. It was really wild. <laughs> <laughs> and I had, I sat. I can see. I can see. I can see into the year forty nine twenty one. And it's all about flying. I'm a flying car in the future. I'm a flying car. I really am. Uh... Chitty, chitty. I think that's, that's, that's good. Chitty, chitty. Yep. Is it, is chitty, it possible chitty. that the, chitty, yeah, chitty. <laughs> is, is it possible that the amulet is having the opposite effect on the car that it is on us? Uh, well, I mean, it could be unlocking memory. I mean, everyone else's memories have gotten unlocked. I'm going to look at everybody else and go, so Neville is a time traveling car. Well, he was playing a robot. <laughs> this could be the grandest case of method acting ever. Well, none of this makes any sense because honestly, you know, this, this studio never had that great of a budget, but, um, I don't remember it ever looking like this. No, I don't either. It, it seemed like it was, you know, kind of a basic dressed up warehouse, but certainly not falling apart. Mm. Yeah, no, this, this looks like it hasn't had, uh. Anybody working in it in quite some time, but uh, we were just shooting earlier today. Well, at least we think we were shooting here. Oh. Were are, are there cameras and equipment around? Uh, interestingly enough, uh, it does. Well, they don't look like cameras. They they look like boxes, like like this Bakelite box with a lens on it. To be fair, that's what they looked like back then. So, you know, could be that. Yeah. Oh no, there's, there's, there's no film drum. There, there's none of that, that those, those big uh, film spoolie mm -hmm. things. This looks like a, just a box. And the tripod is really spindly. Mm. I'm going to walk over to one of them and I'm just going to give it a gentle push over. Okay. Because why? I just want to, I just want to see what happens. Oh, uh, like to, to tip it over or just yeah, to shove it? Just to tip it over. Um, it's kind of hard to tip over because it's on a tripod, but um, it it falls to the ground and and makes a, a bit of a crashing sound. Hmm. Hmm. Out of curiosity, um, uh, uh, Percival's going to go over to the... Weird, because it looks like it has a light bulb in it. Yeah. 
and knobs. Have you ever seen a camera with knobs? Well, is it uh, is there just a, a one camera or is there multiple? Uh, there's a couple of other cameras nearby. Um, I'd like to go to one of the ones nearby, and uh, I'm just going to start playing with it. I'm going to look through the uh, the view lens and mm-hmm. press buttons and see what happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, you do press some buttons. The uh, let me check here. Um, you you hear this kind of a whirring sound, like it it has a tape recorder inside of it or something. As he's doing that, I'll I'll, I'll kind of walk myself into frame of that camera and go, "Well, come on, man, give me some direction. What am I doing here?" Oh right, yes. Uh, you, you're doing your your prototypical sniveling of uh, and uh, for 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 your master sneed slightly. Go on. Oh, hey, come on, boss. Uh, you, you you know uh, it's it's time to eat and all, but I, I'll help you out. I'll do it. I'll I'll do it. But but can I finish? Can I finish my hoagie first? Okay. So uh, when you're looking through the lens, it looks as if he were um, delivering his lines. He's in costume, surprisingly. Uh, appropriate costume for what he should be. And uh, he isn't, right now, he's in, I think you had some muddy street clothes at this. And you were also in your good, actually, you were in your good guy outfit. Mm-hmm. You appear in your bad guy outfit. And uh, he also appears in full makeup. And... um uh, also, uh, Bonsoir appears in the in the image with him. Oh, Bonsoir! Uh, when did you get here? No, Bonsoir. And then not I there. Uh, look up from from oh, the view sorry. lens and see that. Oh, wait, what? Yep. What? Uh, Something fishy's going on here. Hold on. Uh, uh, and it's these amulets that's letting us see it. But Wellington, uh, uh, come here, a good boy. You have to see Surely. this. You, you want me to look through the camera? Yes, uh, look into the viewfinder. Uh, okay. It, it's, it, it, it's, it's easier for you to look than it is for me to explain. And it's that Bonsoir? That's Bonsoir? Yeah, that's uh, sort of Russell in there. full costume and Russell, makeup? Russell's all dressed up, yet I'm, when I yeah. take my, my eye away from the, the, the viewfinder, he's in his street clothes. And I'm going to... Oh, uh, one thing I didn't do uh, that you may wish to try, uh, 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 Wellington. Uh, let's try and turn the camera towards <laughs> Neville. Ah, great idea. I wish I had thought of that. I'll turn the camera at the car. Oh, I had not been fully prepared for this. Um, Neville, what do you think happens? I'm the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I took my glasses off. Don't be afraid. It's just me, Neville. <laughs> the headlights go off. Uh, you do see um, you you see a, a bit of a weird silver form. Uh, it looks it looks for all the world like a knight in armor. Wait, that's hmm. what we see through the viewfinder. Yes. But not BB-88. An actual no. night night. Uh, well, you, uh, the easiest thing to describe would be a night because you don't have good robot costumes, but it, it does look like a bit of a, you know, it looks like something out of Solar Patrol. What? Fascinating. But not, not quite exactly BB-88, but a, a very upgraded how, version of BB-88. How heavy would you say these uh, cameras and tripod sets are? Great. I was uh, literally just thinking the same thing. Like maybe four kilograms. In freedom units, please. About ten. Thank pounds. you. Oh yeah, <laughs> we can we can move that around. Um. All right. These are very slight cameras. They're just like little cigar boxes. So I'm I'm gonna leave the one uh, that uh, myself and Wellington have been operating. Uh, there's the one that uh, Russell had knocked over on the floor. I'm gonna. Uh, trace the, uh, the power cord back to the wall and unplug another. Oh, there's not a power cord. 
oh, well, that just makes it so much easier and a lot more suspicious. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to uh, collapse the tripod and, you know, take the camera and tripod and we're carrying it with it. And I, as, as far as I know, there's only one staff member that's currently working here. Uh, and that would be the accountant. And we are going to have a talk. Mm. Well, um, as you go approach the corridor, you hear the you hear footsteps coming from the corridor, and you recognize them as the sound of um, uh, those are whiskers footballs coming back on set. Thank you. We have to clean this place up. We have to make sure everything is fine. Oh, oh, oh. ready to go for the next day's shooting. Well um, ahead of you, he's, whiskers. He's not talking to you guys. He's he hasn't entered yet, so he's he's like he's talking to someone as he's walking down the hall. Just to let you know what 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 you're expecting. Um, I'm gonna continue walking, and uh, because I if if it's where I think it is, uh, that's on my way to the accountant's office. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Um. So let me see. So what we're going to do is we can cliffhanger there with you approaching that. And uh, what I want to say is it is dead on time. So thank you so much, everyone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen and, uh, well, non-binary people, everyone who's watching, folks, I will use folks. Uh, folks, thank you so much for the, um, for the Solar Patrol. I want to thank the whole cast. Who could make it uh we're going through this um do you guys want to go uh down the line and um just describe who you are good devil you want to you want to say hi and tell the folks something about yourself and what you might be doing uh, uh, hi there lords and ladies of fate land uh good devil here uh otherwise known on wednesdays for being Gorpal the grand so make sure you tune in uh, Wednesday at 8 p.m. for the continuation of Curse of Strahd. Okay, Cameron, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Cameron Williams here. I'm not doing very much other than this and uh, watching Twitch feeds, but this is my only active game right now. Um, just kind of hanging out. Okay. And then um, I believe it is uh, Pwned, right? Hey, it's um, <clears throat> it's me. Uh, I just uh, I just want to say, um, you know, uh, rip the Ohio River Basin. Uh, bye. Oh, for the uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Mm, um. Yeah. And uh, Rufus, would you like to say anything for the folks at home? Yeah, hi, everybody. Uh, make sure you tune in on Friday nights for Give Me Solo and a Cookie. I play another robot then. And then we won't have <laughs> yeah, this seems to be a bit of a theme. Um, we'll have to see. I have a different voice. I have a more grating voice on that broadcast. Um, uh, let me see. So uh, tomorrow, we're going to... Lots of things are happening on the channel. So tomorrow, uh, I think uh, according to broadcast 7 p.m. Eastern, they moved their time slot to um, uh, return to the land of Conan. Uh, um, uh, Pone, do you want to tell them about uh, your game on Wednesdays? Sure. Yeah. So um, we had a little bit of a retcon action going on from the last broadcast that we uh, we did. So keep your uh, your eyes peeled for the uh, the the video of what we changed uh because we're picking up right from where we should ha pick up from uh leaving the mansion uh you want okay. you want to see what happens you got to tune in uh 8 p.m eastern standard time this wednesday okay and uh thursday uh the misadventures in the megaverse start at 8 30 p.m uh friday is uh give me solo and a cookie and that is, I believe, at, what, 6.30 p.m.? And then Sunday, back to Chult and the Tomb of Annihilation at 9 p.m. And then Monday, in this very slot, there will be uh, a return to the lighthearted night, uh, the lighthearted times of the occupation of Bajor. 
on a um, lighthearted. lighthearted joy romp of fun of optimistic future. Um, that's on <gasps> Monday night. Where are we? What what's up? And I think oh we're going yeah, already. baby. Yes, we are. Where are we going? I'm send him a text. Who's who are we writing? Get rated, bitch. Well, yeah, but I mean, uh, we're, we're we're rating someone I I know personally, oh, so I'm t- so I'm we should all go. Wait, in he's broadcasting. His... What the fuck? Who's he? <laughs> who, are, who are we broadcasting? Rick, Rick, Rick and Tony, Tony Pony. Pony. Why aren't they in here? Well, they were earlier. Oh, they said hi. They started streaming. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll go out there, make some noise. Uh, Rick and Tony's been really good to the channel. It's been every time uh, one of my characters shows up, they're they're right there doing stuff. Heck, they even showed mm-hmm. up for the uh, "Give Me Solo and a Cookie" for God's sake. So they definitely deserve that. So, see you later, I guess. 